Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia. Today, I want to do a video on how to shop using your flexible spending. So, you know, if you have a nine to five, if you work for some sort of corporation, most of them offer some sort of health care um, package which may include flexible spending or um, the health savings account. So let me explain a little bit what the difference is between the two. Flexible spending, um, you get to pick a set amount of money you want to set aside for um, doctor's visit copay, medication copay, if you need to see a specialist um, copay, those kinds of things, right? Medicaid, all of that. Um, so you set aside a certain amount of money and they send you a card and you use that card to pay for those copays or out of pocket medical um, expenses. Typically, um, flexible spending, uh, a, a flexible spending account is only good for one year. So if you don't use all the funds that you set aside for that flexible spending account by the end of the year, December 31st, you lose that. There is no carryover. Um, you lose that. So I'm a frugal franny. <laughs> for those of you that are not super familiar with me. I am frugal. I watch every little penny. And so I am either A, using it um, on my family medical expenses. And if for some reason I did not use all of those dollars amount by the end of the year, which for the first time in a super long time was my situation for 2022, you have options. We're going to get to that. The health care, um, the health uh, health care savings account is a little bit different from your flexible spending account. Your health, um, your health savings account, I'm sorry, um, is good for more than the end of the year. Let me explain. So you sign up for that with your employer. And again, you pick a set amount of money you want to dedicate to that health savings account, you use it in the same way that you would use your flexible uh, spending. So any office co-pays for your doctor, dentist, you know, um, specialist medication procedures, you can use it for that reason, right? The difference is with the health uh, savings plan is savings account, I keep calling it the wrong thing, is whatever you don't use in that year, you can roll it over to the next year with this health savings account. You cannot do that with a flexible, right? There are less stipulations with how you can use your health savings account versus flexible. Flexible, they're a little bit more strict. Certain over-the-counter medication is not allowed. Um, it's crazy, but that's the situation. So I personally usually use the flexible spending account uh, because it's been easy for me. Um, it's not been complicated or anything. I'm not opposed to the health savings account. With the flexible spending account, if you switch employers, you cannot take that with you. However, with the health savings account, you can. It goes with the individual, not with necessarily the company. So 20 at the end of 2022, I found myself in a situation where I actually had funds left over, first time in many, many years. And so what do you do? I'm not giving away money. I'm not throwing away money. So I went shopping. I'm going to show you some of the things that I got. So I have back issues and... Um, in the flexible savings account, they have a list. It's a website. They have a list of approved items that you can use your flexible spending funds to purchase. And so I went to town and I'm going to share some of those with you. So this is a massage weighted heating pad. It's heavy. It has several different settings. 
And like I said, I have back issues. So this comes in pretty handy, but I'm pretty sure you can use it on other parts of your body. If, if you have a sprained leg or your knee or something like that, you can use it. So um, I don't recall the price, but again, this wasn't out of pocket. This was funds that was already in my flexible spending account. Um, and what I will say too is when you make your selection of items that you want to purchase at the end of the year, there is no shipping, which I appreciate. The other thing I got is the Aurora Full Body Analyst Scale. And I opened this already and I used it already. This scale will tell you your full, full body analyst, right? Um, it tells you how much water weight you have, what's your BMI, you know, all of that very intricate detail stuff. So I already opened it and I already used it. Um, and I compared it to my regular scale. My regular scale just told me, um, how much I weighed. It didn't tell me my body fat. It didn't tell me how much water I was retaining or any of that. Um, and I noticed the difference between my regular scale and this scale was like six ounces, like six ounces is a big deal right for me for me it's a big deal so yeah i got that scale and i got practical stuff because i'm a mom right i'm a mom of four kids two adults and a teenager and a 10 year old that's home um unfortunately i and my youngest has um have and my mom come to think of it have um issues with allergy and so i got all day allergy medication. Um, I got several boxes of these. I think three boxes of those. Yep, here's another one. Um, and then I also got the Omega 3, 6, and 9. If you can see that on my screen there, I got a few bottles of these because my husband, my mom, me, you know, we can use these. We're of a particular age. And so we need a little help um, with staying healthy. And uh, Biofreeze. So this is for scratch, bruises, things like that. Um, you know, I have boys, so stuff's going to happen. I got a few of those. I think two, a third. Um, because when you have kids, they're always sick, right? Sick often. And then this is a invisible day SPF 60. So I, I have sensitive skin. It's by Neutrogena. I have sensitive skin. I burn. And so because I'm of a particular age, I am very um, intentional about how much time I spend in the sun and about lathering up before I go out in the sun. So I got a few bottles of these. Me and my daughter can use them. Um, this is uh, athlete's foot. I have boys. Need I say more? Oops, trying to get that there. These are uh, for athlete foot. And I got a few because I've got a teenager. Um, then um, I'm big on the sunscreen. So this is the unseen sunscreen. Um, there are different kinds that you can use. So I, um, I just use whatever that won't leave that kind of film, you know, that weird kind of um, white film. I try to stay away from those. Usually I use um, sunscreen that has a little bit of a tint in it because, um, you know, I'm a brown skin girl. So um, the tint actually helps me. It doesn't show up really white. And of course, these are first aid kits. I've got a couple, um, one for each car, my husband's car, and then my vehicle, of course. So I got a total of two of these. Um, I got a blood pressure monitor. Uh, we have the regular one that you pump, but this is the one that you stick your whole arm in. You don't have to do the Velcro thing. And then you just push the button. So very convenient. I like that. Um, especially for my mom, I have to monitor her. This is 
the bag, a big old bag of all the stuff that I um, I ordered with my flexible spending account at the end of the year. So more sunscreen. I already opened and gave one away. But this is the spray on one. And this is sun bun. This is a good one. And it is SPF 70. I like to use the higher the number I can find. Those are the ones that I typically use because the science behind um, SPF is, say this is 70, it's supposed to be 70 minutes, but give or take, you know, 10 minutes. And so you're really supposed to reapply this sunscreen every 70 minutes. If you go to the beach or you go to a hike, are you going to hike? Obviously, you're going to be gone more than 70 minutes, right? So like the spray on one for the beach or camping or something like that, it's easy to reapply. But if it's like your face and you have makeup on, this is not going to work. So you need to find uh, like 100 or higher. Um, that's what my dermatologist explained to me over the years. So I usually try to find the one the highest SPF. Um, if I can't find it, then I'm stuck. Better to use something versus nothing. So my daughter raved about this. I didn't know anything about Honey Pot. <laughs> um, my 26-year-old daughter, Daniela, um, was telling me about Honey Pot, their history, that they were in Target, that their products are made from natural stuff, you know, no uh, perfume and additives and all of that. And so um, she turned me on to this and I got a lot of these. I don't even know, probably like 10 of these. These are the 100% organic cotton cover everyday liner. I'm good for anything 100%, you know, organic and 100% all natural because, you know, sensitive ladies and girls like me, um, our jewel area does not like anything perfume. Read between the lines. You, you catching what I'm putting down? I hope so. So um, Aquaphor, this is really good. I got, I think, six of these. Um, so my elderly mom, she does have super dry, 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 dry skin. And this is great for that. This is also good for like overnight moisturizer. Like you take your makeup off, you do your proper washing and whatnot. And just a little bit of this um, on your face. You can use it on your elbows, on your knees, on the bottom of your feet. Put some socks on overnight. It will soften up your feet. I love Aquaphor. So yeah, I got a whole bunch, the big, big ones. Um, What else? Zyrtec, because I suffer, struggle with allergy. So does my mom. So does my son. Um, so it's an issue. More Biofreeze. More Athlete's Foot. Another Biofreeze. Um, this is the all day allergy, liquid allergy for um, kitties. And one of my neighbors, she, uh, her daughter struggles with allergies like we do. So I already gave her some, a lot more panty liners. And Neosporin, you know, for them boys and the kids that fall down and scrape stuff up. Um, more of the Invisible Day 60 plus SPF. Like, I could use a lot of that. And for my ladies and my girls, my doll works. Tried and true. Tried and true. More athlete foot stuff. More honey pot. Honey pot. More my doll, because I'm a girl. <laughs> um, and then more unseen sunscreen. And I'm not showing you everything. Uh, this is more of the sun bun. Sunscreen, the um, 70 plus. And then, of course, the K95 mask. 
These are not going anywhere. If you're like me and you're a germaphobe, I wear these when I fly or now I'm like going to more events with people. But if we're in close proximity, I put on a K95 mask. They're usually only good for about, I want to say like 10 wears, but I don't keep them that long. My uh, teenager, Gabriel, he is a germaphobe too. Um, he's in high school. He's in 10th grade and he wears a K95 mask. And what is it? NK N95 mask. He wears one every day at school. He is not playing. My younger one doesn't care anything about a mask. Um, um, the one that's in elementary. So I got several of these. I think I got, I want to say five boxes of these. And so that's just some of the stuff I used um, my uh, end of year flexible spending funds to use so that it did not go to waste. Have you used your um, uh, flexible spending account in, uh, you know, uh, balance to purchase things at the end of the year? Um, put in the comments. Also, I know like previous years, if I had any funds left over, I would go get glasses and contacts and take my kids to get glasses and contacts. But that was not our situation for 2022. Earlier in the year, they had all gotten new glasses and, you know, I did the two by one, get the other one, you know, half off. So we were good there. Um, I was good with contacts. But what do you use your flexible spending account um, for? And share with me, do you prefer flexible spending account or do you prefer the health savings account? I've never had the health savings account. I've only always had the flexible spending. And so, you know, the only advantage I could think of is that if I were to leave one job um, and go to another job, that the health savings account would follow me and I wouldn't lose those funds. But, you know, um, do you let them keep any extra funds that you have at the end of the year? Or are you a frugal franny like me? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Um, look in the description below. I'm going to list all of the things that I was able to get. Again, all of these are um, approved by the flexible spending um, account people and it, they send it free shipping. And I waited until I think two days before the end of the year to make my purchase. And then I had it within like three days. They had all the big boxes at the front of my door. But I want to thank you for stopping by my channel. Have a great day, guys.